Mr. Bigley! Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly. I'm once again doing another random one-shot, and it's once again from Game Jolt. As usual, it's my favorite, favorite site to find these little wacky games. Um, sorry if you're hearing some noises, I'm just adjusting my headphones. As, as you guys can probably tell, I have a haircut. I got one. Not I have a haircut. I got a haircut, and now I look like I'm 14. Uh, but I am missing so much hair, it's crazy how much they chopped off. It was like 800 pounds of hair, it was nuts. Anyway, so this game is called Hemo. I believe that's how it's pronounced. It's a game that uh, I found over on Game Jolt, which uh, all of my random one-shots are from. Um, this game, uh, I think I mentioned that already, did I? Did I already say Game Jolt? I'm sorry guys, it's like really late at night and I'm exhausted. But anyway, so Hemo, uh, it's pronounced like the British way, I'm pretty sure. Like, sort of like they say pedophile and they have like an A-E in there too, I believe. Uh, but anyway, this is a really unique game. It's an action exploration adventure game. Uh, basically, the premise is you're a little, uh, like, red uh, Pac-Man looking ghost. You kind of look like one of the ghosts from Pac-Man. And you're trying to navigate through this invisible maze that's made completely out of white. And you can't see anything, but you are constantly bleeding. You can also kill enemies and you can uh, also blow up uh, if you hit the wrong thing, if you die. You splatter your blood everywhere, and your blood is actually what reveals the map. So anyway, we've talked about this like for 500 years. I'm sorry, I'll go ahead and start playing it. Uh, this game, for some reason, it doesn't allow you to um, to save or reset your save data. So this is actually all parts of the map that I've already filled in. Now, in the upper left corner, you can see that I have four hearts. Uh, these four hearts are how many times I can get hit before I die. And then there's this bar that's ticking down, and I'm bleeding out right now. So uh, my little guy, I'm just... I, I can fill in the white here by just walking over it, which is cool. I also have the ability to spray blood by right-clicking, but that also uses up some of my blood bars. So that's something that's not good to do. You can find those little pellets like I just picked up, sort of like Pac-Man again. Uh, you get little pellets that will allow you to uh, basically have more blood. So, um, oh god, I'm getting swarmed. So these little white ghosts are trying to kill you, and it sucks because when you can't see parts of the map, they blend in and they just attack you out of nowhere and you can't see yourself sometimes like right now I'm pretty much invisible. I don't know where I am um, Fortunately, there's a blood blob and this guy's trying to get me from behind now I have a regular attack. that's just like a swipe. It's like I'm swiping a sword uh, this game really has uh, not much to... you can't really defend yourself much in it. It's really, really hard. It's very difficult. Um, the whole point is, though, you're kind of supposed to die. Uh, the more you die, the more you uh, spread your blood about the place and uh, can see more. So we're about to die here. Boom! We died. And we sprayed, and you can see that it revealed more of the map. And uh, it's kind of like a roguelike. It's a, it's a roguelike game in a lot of senses because uh, it... Basically, it, yeah, you, you have to keep dying. You just keep dying over and over, and as you die, uh, you fill in the map and you find more things. Now, that pill right there floating in the middle, I have no idea how to get to it. According to the dev, if you get to that pill over here, uh, that will, like, increase your maximum health, like, for a permanent amount, or your blood bank for a, mer a permanent amount. Uh, but I've never gotten one of those. Now, there are, ow, Jesus, see, they ambush you out of nowhere. It's terrifying. It's actually, yeah, it is actually very surprising. That guy was a big, creepy one with arms going like that. I had never seen that guy before. Well, I have, but... Oh my god, did he... He erased my blood. I just noticed, man, I got so excited I ran through that dude. I'm even trying to fight him. Um, that guy, look at this guy. He's, he's erasing my blood. What an asshole. Come back here. I'll kill your ass. Yeah, I killed your ass. Screw you. Stop erasing my shit. I hate you. I hate you so much. You're not invited to my birthday party. Ah, ah. You're gonna try to kill me. Uh -huh. I can't see anything. Um, but yeah, it's very much a roguelike in the sense that you restart every time. But fortunately, your progress... Ah, I got ambushed. Your progress in the map is saved, so you can continually go back in and fill out more and more of the map. As long as those, those stupid tall guys don't ruin your life. Now, I don't know what these things do. Now, I can put on Devil Horns or this Angel Halo, and I don't know if that actually affects any gameplay. I do know that the Angel Halo makes it a lot easier to see where I'm going and what I'm doing. Now, it looks like that ghost was running away. I wonder if that the Angel Halo had anything to do with that. Um, what are these, too? There's always these symbols and, and letters and numbers that you, un, uh, you sort of reveal as you run around and you get more and more of the map bloodied up. Um, 
So I don't know what those are for. I don't know what they, they have to do with anything. But uh, I, exploration is obviously encouraged. Uh, charging headlong into the map actually isn't always a bad thing because you reveal more and more of it. Uh, and you guys know me and roguelikes. Uh, I love them. Uh, obviously, I played a shit ton of Rogue Legacy. And here's a spot where I blew up before. And as you can see from the blood splatter. Oh, God. They're ambushing me. And I blew up in the same place, of course. Um, you guys may also notice that there's music in the background right now. There's not music in the soundtrack of this game. There is no soundtrack. Uh, it just has these funky retro noises. Uh, so I added my own. Um... Oh, also, if you hold your left-click attack button, you can see your attack range. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a tiny, tiny dot, like, barely in front of my character. And uh, that will let me see how far outwards I can strike. And that comes in handy sometimes. I don't use it much because it's so much easier to just strike at dudes directly in the face. Now, this thing, if we could get to it without dying, boom! That makes... Look at that. That is awesome. Those, those things explode, and uh, they basically allow you to uncover way more of the map all at once as long as these stupid guys with their stupid eraser butts don't erase all your stuff. So, oh god, crap. So there's another one right in in the row, or in a row, um, but it revealed a ton of enemies that killed us, obviously. Uh, but this game's really fun. It's really, really fun. It's free. It's, like I said, over on Game Jolt, you can get it. Uh, it's like two megabytes, so it's super small. Um, it's not a demanding game at all, so even if you don't have a top-of-the-line computer, you can get it. Now, I don't know if these jerky jerks with their... Ah, stop touching me! Um, with their eraser butts are actually... What is this, the Olympic rings? Is this the Audi symbol? What is this? Um, uh, but uh, they... Uh, I don't know if they actively search out uh, blood to try to erase, because it seems like that's kind of what they're doing. They're, they're real assholes, those guys. I don't like them. Now, I don't know what the end objective in this game is, besides just exploring and trying to make the entire map as bloody and disgusting as you can. Uh, but I, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. I don't know if we'll do this playthrough, because obviously um, this is just a one-shot. But uh, maybe in a live stream or something, if I ever get my internet working again. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about live streams. Uh, which I haven't been able to get to. God, stop touching me. I'm trying to talk. Fodge. Um, <laughs> uh, hopefully I can do another live stream sometime soon. Once again, guys, it's completely the financial issue right now. I, I just do not have the money to afford better internet to do better live streams. And that's unfair to you guys, so I don't even want to attempt to do those until I get the better internet. Um, but, uh, ah, God, stop it. Stop. You are an asshole. Um... Yeah, we got more blood, we got more blood, blood, blood. Uh, but yeah, I mean, maybe I'll do this for a live stream. Chances are, though, I'll probably just do this off-camera. Um, it is a lot of fun, it's really cool, it's a neat game, but uh, yeah, I don't know, um, it's not really series-worthy in my, in my mind, ah, ha, ha, um, in my mind, because the gameplay doesn't evolve much beyond, excuse me, I got the burpees, um, doesn't evolve much beyond what we're seeing right now. It, it just is kind of a fun time waster, once again. If you guys have a, you know, an afternoon or something where you want to just play a game uh, for fun, waste a couple hours maybe, uh, you guys can play this one. It's definitely recommended. Ooh, is this a secret? I need a secret lair. Ugh. I need to kill all the enemies first so I can... Yes, so I can get the blood. Now I want to get this pill. I want to get this pill so bad. I want to get this pill super, super bad. I don't know how to get it. I really don't. All right, whatever. We'll go this way this time. Ah, ah, ah. So many things. <laughs> Die, dude. Stop touching wiggle button stuff. Yeah, yeah. Take that. Your stupid paint job won't do anything. Oh. Um, but it gets very disorienting. You know, it's, it's an empty canvas, and you're just kind of stuck... Uh, Stuck wandering the halls of it. Um, and it gets very, very crazy. <gasps> I got one of them. I got a pill. I don't know what it did, but I got it. That's good, right? It's awesome. Oh, I, I think I got more blood. I think I got a, high, a bigger blood bar. It sounds so weird to say. Like, yeah, I went to the blood bar the other day, and I had some AB blood. And I had some O negative. Mm, got super drunk because it was an alcoholic bum's blood. Oh, I don't know why they took it. Um, all right. Let's, uh, ah, stop. I'm very bad at killing the enemies, as you guys can tell. I'm not good with the limited attack range. It's really, really hard for me to, uh, to, to win, to not die. 
a thousand times. They're making really cool crop circles in the blood here, though. This is... Ah, don't touch me like that. I don't know. It's a it's a cool game. I like the concept. I really, really do. Um, quite a bit. It's a, it's a very unique, very interesting concept. It's just uh, the gameplay itself doesn't evolve much beyond this point, so... Uh, like I said, it's it's not something that I'd like ever do a series on, um, but definitely definitely fun. And like I said, it doesn't know how to erase your. It doesn't give you an option to reset your data, so I guess it's one that I really will just play on my own on the sidelines here. Those guys are trying to get me. I see you. I see you, baby. Shaking that ass. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Where do we want to go? Okay, we shot some blood. It helped a little bit, I think. Where are we? Oh. Oh, man. It's, it's so hard to navigate because you're just... I mean, like, look at that. Look at this shape over here. That's a shape I had to figure out on my own? God damn. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll do one more run here real quick just to, to play the game. Uh, or just to play to show off the game some more. Um, it is really cool. It's made by someone named... Uh, dev called Ma Managor? Monagor? I don't, I don't know how to say his name. Uh... Daniel Linson, I think, is his real name. I could be getting that wrong. I'm sorry if it is wrong and you're watching this. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I'll leave a link down in the description. So if you guys want to explore the bloody, bloody halls of Ag of uh, Hemo, then you can do so yourself as well. Uh, it is a lot of fun to do, albeit incredibly frustrating. It's a maze. I mean, this is a goddamn maze. This is a freaking maze. Look at this. What is this? What, is, what are we revealing with our butts? We're just dragging our butts across this to find something. Is this the Eiffel Tower? Or not, uh, the, is this Big Ben or the Empire State Building on its side? What is this? Is it a QR code? Could I, could I scan this? Perhaps? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of cool hidden messages inside this game, but uh, that's going to be it for Hemo. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry if my commentary is off. Like I said, it's very late at night, so I'm exhausted. And along with that, I'm missing hair, which is where a lot of my brain was stored. So, you know, I only have like a quarter of my brain left. But anyway, guys, uh, I hope that you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Except there's another door here. What's in this door? A bird, perhaps? Oh, it's the entrance. Hey, little lady, you still here? You want your picture taken? Oh, yeah, just like that. Oh, oh she's smoking a cigarette. She's smoking a cigarette. Oh, they didn't tell me what kind of birds I had to take pictures of, but I'm going to use a whole roll of film on you, baby.